Though a stronghold of the ruling New Patriotic Party, the NDC's demonstration against the Electoral Commission witnessed large numbers here in Kumase. I am more enthused. I am so strengthened and emboldened by the crowd. As you can see, the crowd is so massive out there. And I know that the Electoral Commission will listen to our call. The almost one hour walk to the EC's Ashanti Regional Office attracted not only members and sympathizers of the NDC, but other political parties and civil society organizations. We stand for peace, growth and development. We are committed to the protection and the preservation of the peace that the country has. And so we fully subscribe with the petition that the NDC has made, that there's the need for transparency in everything that the EC does, because it is only a transparent process that will lead to a very fair outcome. Cannot allow the EC to intimidate anybody. The country of Ghana belongs to Ghanaians, and what we are doing here is a national cause. It's not about politics. We want free and fair election, nothing more. So PPP is in support of the forensic audit of voter register. It's simple. If the voter register is not being audited, what surety are we having? The regional NDC leadership says it will deploy every single strategy to make every ballot count in the December elections. I'm assuring the good people of Ashanti region that we are going to protect their vote and the vote that they are going to cast is the vote that we are going to count. And we know that if we are able to protect their vote, inshallah, NDC will be the winner of the 2024 elections. Amidst tight security, the demonstration was embarked peacefully until it was time to present the petition. <laughs> The initial agreement of allowing only leadership of the party to enter the EC premises was met with fierce resistance by some of the demonstrators as they also demanded access. The angry demonstrators forced themselves in and caused destruction to the glass doors of the main EC office. Three persons were arrested, but eventually the petition was presented to the Electoral Commission officials for onward submission to the EC headquarters. So the first phase of the protest is over. The NDC says in the coming days, if the Electoral Commission does not present the voter register for a forensic audit, it will activate another action, all in an effort to ensure a free, fair, and transparent elections. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Kumase.